Hey what's up guys, it's Crafty Fox and welcome to Fox Shot update number 26. So if you guys are new here, I own a realistic creative server on uh, Minecraft for Java Edition. And uh, this is 1.13.2. And we are looking for builders, by the way, if you want to become a builder, you can come on and join our server and you can read the signs of spawn if for more information. But anyways guys, let's go check out our uh, new area. So. Right now we are at Warp Brightline and that's like the new Brightline station in Fort Lauderdale. It was started by Frost and also some other people helped like Team 48 and uh, Quillix helped a little bit and Leaf and here's what it looks like um, right now. So this is like the nice Brightline logo and if you haven't watched the animation for the Brightline trains and the Florida East Coast train, I can go check it out. That was our last video. Uh, but here's what the set looks like and Team 48 asked me to put like one of the trains here so this is what it looks like in game if you're like in Minecraft and you see the bright line train uh, here's like the surrounding terrain that's like an empty field it's like this in real life so all this is based on like Fort Lauderdale station and here's like the nearby uh, bus terminal it's nowhere near complete it's just like kind of temporary <laughs> looking so I just placed these buses randomly and there's also a lot of palm trees in this area so that's why they're all spread out and that's by leaf he designed the the like a palm tree pack here's some uh, railway signals so here's what the gantry signals look like from the driving point of view and i built all of this road it was like it took a really long time to do and um here's like the nearby uh, parking garage unfortunately you didn't get to see like the top roof that much or at all you could just see the helicopter since it's so tall and sticks out so much uh, but here's what like the top of the roof looks like and it says quill was here and here's like the bottom floor and leaf built this excavator i think it's pretty cool and um yeah this is pretty much it for our parking garage and let's go down to the other side of the station and fun fact in this area this actually supposed to be like a detention center like a juvenile detention center uh, but we did not really build that um, here I don't know it's just like some other buildings that were in the area here's a parking lot and if we move down let's see what else is there oh yeah this is like a um, cool art piece on the wall I think it's by team 48 and here's like the surrounding buildings uh, this new building I haven't seen before so this is under construction and here's what the other set looks like it is pretty nice to see in game and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for Warp Brightline alright so this is Warp New Vegas and it's built mainly by this might be Otto he's actually from the UK and um, I think England he said <laughs> and yeah this is what it looks like based on Nevada um, here's like he built all these houses so it's pretty nice that he has like a whole neighborhood uh, built on Foxha and it's like all the same style so that's uh, really cool. Um, they do have blacked out windows so I don't think they have an interior. Uh, but there is a whole neighborhood and it reminds me a lot of GTA 5. There's like a cherry picker uh, and the power poles there. Appears to be like just connected by glass panes everywhere. Here's like a little road or rather a big road. An abandoned bus, and I think this one's by uh, Omega. He just placed that here, probably. There's even more houses, and there's like apartments over here. And uh, also, we also got griefed uh, a few days ago, or like this past week. And he got angry at some people on Fox Shot, so he like destroyed a lot of uh, warps on the server. But we were able to like roll it back, and ha we had it back up. So um, all of that should be fixed right now. Uh, which is pretty good but it always sucks whenever someone griefs and we were able to roll back but then the server crashed so that's why some things got corrupted but we were able to fix all of that so you don't see that in this update here's like a local fire station i do like the design of this fire truck all right and then there's like a mcdonald's here there is probably a mcdonald's on every minecraft server i think at least one that has cities in it. Here's what it looks like inside. And here I guess this is the counter. 
where they cook all the food, but there's like nothing, not much here. Oh, this has a window in the door. And there's like a tiny little office room here. I wonder if they have a toilet. Oh, there. Here's a toilet, I think. All right, so let's get out of the McDonald's. Um, there also is a giant parking lot. I guess it's like a mall area, like a strip mall probably. So it's pretty amazing. I think Otto built a lot of this, so it's pretty nice for one person to do like all this work. Um, here's like the back of the mall. I think it looks uh, pretty realistic actually. There's like a trailer just there. It's not in like a loading dock, so I wonder why it's parked there. Here's a gas station you can fill up. Um, I wonder what car this is. I think it's by Jeep, maybe. And what is this? Uh, that must be like the gas station sign, I guess. And here's like the highway that he's building. This is also pretty cool. Uh, this like, is this a ramp on? Oh yeah, so this is a ramp on, so it goes like, uh, uh. I feel like we need to like have more time to merge in. I don't know, let me see what it looks like on the ground. Because on the highway, the lines are actually pretty far apart. Uh, here's like all the trucks that he built. Uh, there also is like a military, a uh, UPS, or I think he built the UPS somewhere. Here's like a little military convoy. That's actually my Humvee, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and these are, I forgot what they're called, like the M10 something. These are like security vehicles. And there is a nice FedEx truck. Although this, wait a minute, what is happening here? I don't know. <laughs> i never seen a FedEx truck that looks like this though. Maybe it's a new model. It kind of looks like the semi-trailer and the trailer just combined into like one. So it's like a box truck of some sort. I don't know. Um, here's like a truck stop. This is pretty cool. There's actually a lot of stuff in this warp. I did not expect to be reviewing it for this long, but there's like a lot of trucks. There's the UPS truck I was talking about. Brown. Uh, I forgot their um, low, what, what are they, they're saying. Something about brown. You can rely on brown or something. Uh, here's the gas station bathroom, I guess. And here's like another building. I'm guessing it's maybe it's like a motel or something. Let me see what the sign says. Okay, City Hall. All right, that was totally off. <laughs> it's not a motel. And um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for uh, the Warp New Vegas. But there also is more to this warp. But I have it on a separate warp. So this is a New Vegas yard, and this is by Anna. So here's it says BNSF Railway. Bristow Yard, authorized vehicles only, no trespassing. So, this is what it looks like. A uh, bunch of, i guessing this is maintenance vehicles or security. I'm not sure. Yeah, probably like high railers. Yeah, they got the little tires. And here's like some other trucks that are probably high railers as well. Here's the railroad crossing. Um, different design <laughs> than what I do. But it uses uh, skeleton, not skeleton skulls, but skulls. Um, unfortunately, I can't really use uh, skulls in the Minimator, so that's why I don't make it out of that. Um, let's go down. Okay, so there's nothing in this yard uh, right now, but I believe Frost helped make the curves on the track. And Anna helped plan it in the other side of the track. Up oh, there is a BNSF train. So this is a pretty cool train. I think it's by Anna, but I'm not completely sure. It might be like some other builder. But I'm assuming it's Anna because it's like the railway uh, that she's building. So um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. It does have a really cool design. And let's go see what's else. It also goes over the highway. Oh, there's the UPS truck again. With, uh, it's like a, a road train. And let's see. Yep, this track just ends right here. Actually, we're not done with New Vegas because we haven't visited Area 51. So this is our Area 51. Uh, map built by several people, including myself, uh, Meeper, Evo helped. Um, and there was like another person, I forgot his name. But here's what it looks like Nellis bombing and gunnery range in a I also did a review on this on the MC Military Force channel where I did an in-depth look so I'm just going to be going over briefly and if you want to see an in-depth look you can check out that video. 
on MC Military Force. So this is like the back door entrance uh, to the base. I made the animation before and this is where it took place. And these are uh, the offices inside and then it has like all the people who helped. Evo, oh yeah, Omega 4058, he's uh, called Maverick, Frost, and Meeper. And Frost made the mountain over there, uh, but it was for a different animation and we just colored it sand color. So you'll see it later on, it's going to be popping out. So this is Frost, and here's like the service road that goes uh, behind the mountain. And the mountain does not really have a backside to it, so it's just like hollow on the other end. Because uh, we don't really need it for animation to show all over the mountain. Unless we're making this like a real map on Foxshot. Uh, here's the Area 51 base. This is just the Walmart truck uh, that stripped of any branding and made the trailer shorter. And here's like the F-16. Minecraft Multiforce, Mikhail Haka's um, F-16 and we just made it diagonal. And here is Evo's um, F-117. Uh, we recently just did a tutorial for it, so it's like an improved design. And there's like another one flying above. And uh, Area 51 base in real life is really secretive, so we're not completely sure what it looks like from the ground. So we just had like a Google Maps satellite view and sort of just showed this with the F-16 just parked there. And a couple buildings around. And we guess where the doors are since there's like lines going through everything. Show you just the interior of maybe this building right here. This is like where the UFO is. And I believe if you watch um, the Area 51 base tour, you'll find out um, what it looks like when it's like better lit and the other buildings, what's inside there. I have the alien thing inside there, but you have to watch the other video to find out. Alright, so this is Warp Weston 3 and it's built by Evo. And I think Frost is building something here as well. Uh, let's see. And it's just like, I think it's based on Chicago. That's what he's always been doing in Weston. Um, but yeah, it's I guess it's like a fictionalized city. Here's a cool looking bus. Um, there's like a lot of new buildings going on. And the old Weston, I guess this is like a version 3.0 of it. Um, so yeah. The roads do look a lot better than the original Weston, so I'm really happy Evo is improving his design. And yeah, hopefully in the future updates, you'll see this uh, city grow. Here's like a parking garage. I thought it was actually for a governmental building, but no. It All right, so welcome to Warp Ithaca, and it's built by Zector. He just came back on the server, so uh, we decided to put back his map, and uh, someone actually... I remember I was talking about before they griefed the map so they, they kind of like messed up everything here and uh, they deleted a lot of stuff so we only could roll back uh, some parts of it so this is why like the roads kind of messed up and um, I think Zector got depressed so he made like all the trees lose their leaves so it kind of looks like autumn uh, which is still pretty nice I mean it's just September 1st so that kind of like fits in uh, with the month I guess and these buildings right over here, I believe they are new. Uh, I don't think they were in the old Ithaca. And here's what it basically looks like. And I don't know, is that like a drugstore? I think it probably is like a drugstore of some sort. Uh, like a Walgreens, CVS. This is like some kind of uh, freight yard, I guess. And there also is a new rail line. There was not a rail line here before so that it's all new and there's like a little creek that kind of dried up so it has like little water puddles in there so here's the rest of Ithaca right now but maybe in the future it'll grow again so this is Quill's home and he just got back on the server as well so he just like he's been building the city and it's based on uh, Delaware for some reason I don't know he why he picked Delaware uh, but yeah it's like a it's a new city, so there's not like not much stuff yet. So it's just like it looks like in the planning phases. These are like a couple buildings, and he's also been making a lot of roads here on Fox Shot. So here's what it looks like, and I guess this is gonna be a highway overpass, probably. Oh, there's a skyscraper. Oh, we can take a look at that. <laughs> That's like the only building I see here, and these buildings right over here, some brick ones. 
So uh, this kind of looks like it's really industrial. And there's like a parking garage. And that appears to be it. Alright, so this is Swippy's place. Uh, Bleegee PC, which means actually happy PC in Dutch. Uh, so uh, I didn't get to review this the last time. So this is what it looks like. I'm guessing the Scions all love Swippy. So check out all the trains here. I guess right over here. Um, <laughs> yeah, a lot of like European trains. I'm guessing that's kind of like the TGV, Netherlands, Spoolwagen. And we even got like an American train, which is uh, pretty cool. So it's just like another way to build trains. And they do have labels for this. So this is Cap Train. Uh, this one says Hussa. So even though like they look like the same exact train, they have like different liveries. So there's a bunch of that, and these blue ones. I wonder who who's building. All right, so Google's building next to Swippy. So we're back in Warp Jacksonville by Elixir, and this is based on Illinois, like a rural town. I guess maybe where he grew up. Um, <laughs> So we visited this a lot in uh, previous updates, but he said he also built uh, some new houses and updated the truck stop. So the truck stop now actually has a lot of different trucks over here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, if you want, you could go check out the server and see all these builds for yourself, by the way. And yeah, there's actually a lot of trucks, different truck designs. And here's like the actual truck stop. It actually has them on pumps and this is like a weird oh it's like a dump truck <laughs> I thought it was like a semi trailer but it was like shrunken yeah they're all parked here I don't know how this exactly works in real life though because I've never seen a truck stop in real life so um I'm betting on elixir to make it realistic yeah this is what I was talking about this guy he griefed the server so he just like made a lot of the builds in stone Alright, so I'm rolling back this guy's grief. So yeah, we can undo like griefs like this, but it is still kind of annoying. But yeah, it's pretty cool that we are able to get this back. So here's like another uh, new neighborhood in uh, Jackson. So here's a look at the houses from the ground point of view. And there's all different uh, styles of them. I don't know if other builders help build this, uh, but yeah, this is pretty much what well, it looks like this new neighborhood and I don't know what this is I think it's a uh, sugarcane since it's growing out of the water so I don't know why this is exactly happening in the main world but let's uh gotta chop them all down so they're all falling down so right now we're in blue cultist archers uh, home in free build and we're gonna take a look at his 10 to 1 scale trains so these are um, European flirt trains uh, that's just the name they call it <laughs> and and it's an acronym for something. I don't know what exactly it stands for. Uh, but these are some gigantic looking trains. And there is a lot of detail that went into this. So it's incredibly detailed. Here's, I guess, the coupling. And there's two different liveries here. Um, I'm not really an expert on these European trains. So I can't tell you what they exactly are. Maybe one is for... Um, the Netherlands Boer wagon but there is a lot of detail that went into this and it's like incredibly realistic I think he made like a diagram and he posted it on our discord showing like all the different parts of like the electronics and whatever the machinery that's going on here because I have no idea what this is exactly and how it all works uh, but yeah it's incredibly detailed on top looks like a computer motherboard or something just and here's what it looks like from the side view. And there's the bogies. These are really good and detailed. So I think these are uh, Jacob bogies. Um, I'm not sure if there's interior. I don't think there's interior inside. There's just a lot of like exterior builds. And this is like, this is actually the lowered pantograph, what it looks like. So we got the folded up and the folded down and let's see the front of it this is what it looks like all right so welcome to new france built by Le Soudat, helped by quillix and this is what it looks like right now and he said he built some new areas including a church which should be right over here 
this is actually where the fighter jet is flying in the canal. Um, yeah, here's like the new church that he built. It's like the most significant thing in New France. So he's re redoing his France warp to make it look nicer, I guess, and more realistic than the other times. So here's what it looks like. Here's a bell. And this is what it looks like from the ground point of view. I don't think there's interior right now, but maybe there will be in the future. All right, so this is Warp Plot, and it's actually our new uh, Plot World system for uh, new people who are wanting to become builders here in Foxshot. So we actually uh, got rid of the old prison, if you guys remember that in previous updates. Now we have like a Plot World system to make it nice and organized, and then people can't grief other people now, so that's really nice. And uh, yeah, basically if you want to become a builder here in Foxshot, now you can just go to Warp Plot. And we have these new uh, holographic displays that can read about how to become a builder here on Foxshot. And you can go check it out for yourself. So yeah, we are looking for new builders. So if you're interested and you have Java Edition of Minecraft, we're using 1.13.2 right now. But if you guys want, you can come on, check out the server and try a trial for yourself. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys like this video. Remember to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.